that we have a little bit of background as to who this guy is, we have to talk about what happened to Ambusher, and why is this video being made? Well, you see, early February of this year, his account was deleted randomly, and with the moderator note saying that the account has been compromised, which is very strange because it's not a compromised account. This has always been Ambusher's original account. the support ticket that was emailed to Roblox to get his account deleted. I'm not going to censor any of the description of the issue because I believe it's very important to read to see what exactly was sent to Roblox and how somehow support got this guy's account deleted from this ticket. This very vulgar message that was sent to Roblox was the sole thing that was responsible for getting Ambusher's 13-year-old account deleted from Roblox. I used to make called Roblox Watch. And what Roblox Watch is, or what it was, was my attempt at a satirical news theme series where I would take real incidents that happened with Roblox and I would add elements of fiction to them to make them funny. So like an example would be uh, back when tickets were removed, I, I had a segment that described the facts of what was going on and then I totally made up the speech that David made at a fake press conference where he was explaining how to be evil and how he totally fooled his stupid customers. Elections, Roblox CEO David Bazicki told media sources it'd be best if the users were told something simple, like the change was made to improve the look of the site. We did that back when we removed subforums a few years ago and the board of directors was shitting themselves laughing at how no one questioned it. But then I would go on to actually criticize his decision, and I did this with a lot of things. I would explain what was happening, make a joke about it, and then I would argue why it's wrong. So one person in particular, who I know really didn't like me doing this, is Bob Purin, who you may know is Noble Dragon. So Bob works at Roblox as the head of moderation. And a lot of my jokes and a lot of my criticism was directed at moderation. So Bob and his team of mods got together and started banning me. And they banned every single account that I created just because it was mine. I just uploaded a video promoting our game, and while it was getting hundreds of thousands of views, the game was locked by Roblox staff because of gore content, extreme blood. Wow. Extreme blood? Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're right. Just shut it down. We can't risk letting kids see blood. Blood fest. Wave survival like no other. Oh, but Phantom Forces is okay. An Apocalypse Rising, that's fine. Oh, Gladiator's okay. Counter blocks. Never mind the Wild West. Which is part of the egg hunt. We ended up removing the bloodstains, and they still wouldn't reopen our game. This is the ad that we ran. Want to see something hot? No. Whoops. You see that? That's the incinerator. It's a staple of our game. This ad was approved, meaning a moderator working for Roblox saw it, gave it the okay, and then let us spend 10,000 Robux on it, and then it gets deleted. Oh, sorry. Oh, no refunds. Never mind. 10,000 Robux costs, uh, let me see, a hundred dollars.
being edgy, no scamming, cheating. <coughs> They can tolerate all these quite well. <laughs>